Oh, adorable music. Mother's Day is May 14th. What better way to show mom how much you love her than with some homemade gifts? Go, Leanne. Leanne Allaire Perot is here Jazz hands. to take us through her favorite Mother's Day DIY ideas. A lot of people are confused because typically it would be this weekend. It's not. It's a week later. It's so you've got time to plan your DIYs because I, I really think that homemade gifts are so special, even if they're not perfect. It's personal. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Okay. So I've got DIY ideas that are simple, but they cover everything from the mom who likes a little bit of has a sweet tooth, okay. maybe the mom who likes to relax because what mom doesn't like to relax, mm -hmm. and the sentimental mom. And irons for those who love to. We're not talking no. about giving anybody no. irons. Okay. Okay. This is for us to iron for the gifts for mom. <laughs> so, so, sweet tooth. I love a good dessert. Me too. So whether you're hosting a brunch and you're wanting to make a dessert, or maybe you're giving the dessert as the gift, because I think a lot of people they don't do the consumable, like they like consumable sure. gifts, things that don't clutter up the shelves. Okay. So I made tea cup cakes. Adorable. Huh? Right? So really the idea was just taking a cupcake and putting it in the teacup. So this would be great to serve for brunch or That's you can clever. box one up with like a, just a really cute little um, little ribbon. With this and little you can spoon. see the little, yeah, a little pretty spoon there. And who and doesn't then, love a new teacup, right? Right, Even the teacup is a keepsake. It's just nice to have. It's a memory. But there's a twist. I'm taking store-bought boxed cake. So this is where you can like, you know. Cheat. Cheat just a little, but this one's actually a gluten-free cake mix. Okay. So it's very inclusive. I love compromise-free eating for people who might have allergies, whether it's lactose, uh, gluten. PC makes this delicious cake mix. But the one thing that I've done is I've substituted the water that goes into the cake okay. mix, and instead I've used Earl Grey tea. Oh, that's where the tea gets infused. So now when we add the vanilla cake and the Earl Grey tea, we're making London Fog cupcakes. Oh, beautiful. And they're delicious. So I've made up a batch already. Ready. Okay. Now, the key for me, uh, because I'm not a great baker, the store bought is my way to fake and bake. Sure. But the trick okay. is icing them to make it look profesh. Okay, so, so your trick is you start by. I put on a little scratch coat. I call this a scratch coat of icing. Smearing it um, on the base. Exactly. If you're doing them in the cupcake, you want to drop this at this point into the cupcake and then start icing. Okay. Or if you're just making a batch, you can kick it Excellent. right away with the icing. You, so You do have the professional I do, icing. The, the professional icing bag. So the, the trick for this to okay. kind of make this hydrangea Look, is you're just going to do these little drops around the outside perimeter. You're very good at this. Oh, maybe not so much, Leanne. I'm no, not you are. Little... You are. Oh, it it does take a little it? bit of practice. How did you get it to? Oh, so you I'm just boiled. pull up. You know what? The nice thing with, what with this. There? No, keep going. Keep going Leanne, around the perimeter. Is a no, not even. See, there you go. Oh, okay. perfect. Oh, perfect. Hang on. perfect. Okay. Practice takes yes, perfect. Yes. Yes. Just You're, never mind that first glob. And you know what? The nice thing about <laughs> icing is you can go over it. So oh, that, that right? glob that you made, look, yeah. go right over top go of like. The there you go. Oh, winning. You're you totally have winning. The tricks. So I whipped up. This is vegan icing that I mixed okay. up a five-minute recipe, um, and then I've dyed it to a bunch of different colors. You can see in this piping bag, I actually mix two colors, so you get kind oh, of this pretty. really nice combination. A little ombre. And then you can go back in with a little bit of green and add just a simple little leaf detail. Okay. So then these work so lovely. I'm going to add you a couple leaves here. There you well go. Done. Look at they almost totally look too pretty to eat. Yeah. But super, super easy. Great to do with the kids so that if you're baking even for grandma, mom, like I, one of my fondest memories is baking with my mom yeah. as a kid. So for me, this would be kind of a Mother's Day gift in itself. Comfort food. And then eating it afterwards totally. always helps. And then being able to give some to grandma or aunts as well. Love it. And still with the tea theme. Tea theme. So making bath salts. Oh. So DIY. This is super inexpensive, but you can make it look again very, very posh and great for relaxation because everybody every mom needs like a little like or a little soak in the tub eating yeah. your cupcake in a cup right it's kind of perfect for 10 minutes so <laughs> all you really need is some Epsom salts okay. so I've got about a cup of that some baking soda so you can go ahead and add that in so some, we'll have all of this online absolutely coconut oil which I've melted down just a little bit so all there's natural. about uh, two tablespoons and now the trick uh, five green tea bags opened up. So the green mm. tea, the nice herbal effect there, and then some dried hibiscus. Oh, so beautiful. you can mix that up. Oh, the color. And the coconut oil will soak right in there, makes it a really nice nourishing bath. Now you can also add some essential oils if you want to amp up the, the aroma of it. Yes, but please. it's really all about presentation for me. And I love doing little simple things like you can see on my tray here. I've done the creamer and the little sugar, but the sugar is actually holding my bath salts right inside. Cute. And 
you can even just package it up as its own little cute gift with a little tag that's the green tea bath salts. How dainty and lovely is so that? So sweet. And I love it. So, so and as sweet. a mom, you would very much appreciate that. Absolutely. And the, the key with this, too, is including a few little satchels so you can make your own basic tea bag. Cute. So basically, you're steeping yourself I in your it. bathtub having a nice aroma bath. And then in here, you put a little flower inside. Exactly. If you're going to do a little arrangement like this, whether it's like with the teapot, think of like fun ways that you mm. can incorporate some fresh florals beyond just the grab and go roses. So sweet. Absolutely. A little table, a little centerpiece. Yes, absolutely. Lovely, darling. So Civilized. This Here. last project. This one actually was one of those ah, <laughs> that I was so stoked with how it turned out. My kids have tons of art. They come home constantly with stacks and stacks of art. And there's only so much room on the fridge and other places. But there's those few pieces that are really sentimental that I wanted mm. to hold on to. So tea towels. Mm. I picked up a pack of tea towels. The trick with this is, and I just I want to show this yeah, one how first. How do you transfer it? So they're all transfers. This one here, I just want to first point out because this is one of those like oh, tug on the heartstrings. My four, uh, my he was four at the time. Learned how to ride a four a two wheeler for the mm. first time, and it says I can ride a two wheeler oh, at the top. And that's him with his little message oh, there. Adorable. So transferring some of those special moments onto the tea towels is super, super easy. How do you do that? The trick is you want to first scan the artwork. So actually, I've got some of the originals in here okay. that I scanned all of the artwork. So here's his piece right here. Yeah. Then you print it onto transfer paper. So from the computer, you just print it straight onto transfer paper, cut it out, and then iron it on. So this is where the iron comes into play. And you can see here, I'll move that off. And you did that. Yeah, we ironed it. And You're then this kidding. peels right off. Mm -hmm. And how, cool how is sweet is that? So now the child takes some pride of ownership. They see their artwork hanging up, but it's a sentimental little piece Can to personalize. Can you wash that? No. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. 100% washable. Yeah, this is a utility Leanne towel. Leanne Perot, I love Super all sweet. of these ideas. Beautiful job, Thank as you. always, and it sure beats the macaroni necklace. <laughs> Breakfasttelevision.ca for more information and a happy Mother's Day next Thank Sunday you. to you. We'll be back. Thank you. This smells so good too.